Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on January 28, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. Of course, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about what everybody else is talking about on YouTube. Apparently, we've got a life-threatening deep freeze straight across the United States. It's not really that bad, folks. This is winter. This is a polar vortex. Yes, there are temperatures that are going to dip down to minus 46 degrees Celsius in some parts of northern Canada. But most of the United States, they'll only see minus 35, which is still damn cold. A lot of winds associated with these cold temps. So watch for wind chill factors. And across the Pacific Ocean, still watching, very large storms develop as Japan is now under a winter storm threat. Watching these storms come out of the China over the next few days, it's going to be bringing a lot of snow to parts of Japan and northeast China. Parts of Kamchatka as well will be receiving quite a bit of snow over the next few days as one low pressure system after another are hammering those peninsulas, joining forces, and it's been a reoccurring process for a while now with the Northern Hemisphere's jet stream. Watching a lot of moisture associated with the storm that develops out of China and then heads east to Japan, parts of Tokyo could see up to four feet of snow in the high mountainous regions. So extreme weather event for Japan also, across Europe and Russia, Russia, cold temps, of course, extreme cold temps. But parts of Europe, they're going to be receiving quite a bit of heavy snow with this next superstorm that's coming in. And I warned about it last week. Please share this video and this channel with your friends and family from across the world. Help stay aware and prepared. Looking across at South America, Things are really heating up down there. Temperatures reaching a 35 plus. Still not as warm as Australia. But the big conversation this week across the globe is these extreme cold temperatures across the Northern Hemisphere. It's winter, folks. It's not really that bad. We just need to stay aware and prepare and adapt to these changes that are happening across the globe. Extreme weather conditions, atmospheric rivers, intertropical convergence. There's a lot of things at play here. So watch for extreme weather event in Japan, as well as flooding in northeastern Australia, as the tropical storm has not left. Tropical storm Riley is diminishing, but there's still one hanging out over northeastern Australia, so watch Australia. Also, watch for sol space weather to affect us over the next 24 hours, as yesterday we had a C class flare from the sun. We'll get a closer look at it here. Images coming to you from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. As they're keeping an eye on our sun, our very quiet sun. So when it starts getting active like this, people get a little freaked out because we got a collapsed magnetosphere, which is our shield from cosmic rays from our sun. Thanks everybody for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide where I talk about space weather, world weather, 
geological events from around the world, studying earthquakes and volcanoes and all disasters as they happen. And I love to look at the sun images, especially here with plasma filaments and small C-class flares. So there's definitely some cosmic energy heading our way. Looking at these images, you can see why. Our sun is asleep. We should have more sunspots happening right now, but we are in a grand solar minimum cycle. So stay aware and prepared. This here is a spiral graph that shows the space weather incoming towards our little green planet on this map here. I've shown this map before. If not, everybody knows what it is. It shows the cosmic energy coming from the sun, the yellow dot, and the green dot is Earth, and that spiral is all of the cosmic energy heading our way. So watch for things to ramp up over the next few days as the space weather will be affecting us. Watch for possible large earthquakes and increased volcanic activity. If you watch one of my latest videos, I showed the plasma filament that eject, erect, sorry, ejected from the southern part of the region of the sun. You can see it here on the right hand side as it's coming in. Again, God bless humanity, and God bless you all for watching today. If you've made it this far in this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world, and make sure that you've hit that notification bell so you can get every update as it happens and every alert as they happen. Looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recent was this 5.4 Santa Maria, Colombia. Now, it has been shaking as of late, all across the planet, a lot of very deep earthquakes. The last 24 hours showing a lot of deep earthquakes on the western side of the Ring of Fire. 620 kilometer depth in Fiji. And that was also... Ahead of that, there was a 585 kilometer depth, 4.5. And the movement has just gone straight west. And it missed going north, and now it went straight to, here we got Tajikistan with a 4.4, and Greece with a 4.3, Lithakia, Greece, there's still been a lot of earthquakes. If you look at the earthquake maps over the last two months in Lithakia, there's a lot of earthquakes there. But yeah, a lot of new earthquakes today across South America, Ilapal, Chile, Coquit, um, what was this other one here? Constitution, Chile. And this 5.3 as well. So that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Let's have a look at the last seven days. And it's going to show you here exactly. Wow, there have been a lot of deep earthquakes the last seven days. So watch for a larger, shallower earthquake. Stay aware and prepared. Be ready for anything these days. And thanks so much for watching. Please share this channel with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.